Uh, I want to start with an introduction. As I said yesterday when we had this on second reading, you all were honored to uh, have been introduced to uh, Deputy John C. Mecklenburg's wife, Penny Mecklenburg. He was the deputy who lost his life. Uh, she's with us today uh, in the West Gallery, along with the uh, FOP president from Hernando County, Mr. Steve Klapka. And if you recognize her, please. Welcome to Florida House. We're here today as we see this bill progress through the Florida legislature in honor of Hernando County Deputy Sheriff John Mecklenburg, who was killed in the line of duty last year during a high-speed pursuit of an individual who just simply refused to stop, who had no regard for the rest of the uh, motorists on the road and would have taken a life, and ultimately it cost Deputy Mecklenburg his life. Last July, my husband was killed in the line of duty as a suspect fled from the police. And that is not currently a violation of the law for murder. Today, on his birthday, the Florida House passed an amendment making that now an offense chargeable as murder. And I am very, very excited and hopeful that the Senate follows suit. It is there in their hands right now. And I am thrilled at the support that I've received both from the House and the FOP, and I'm very excited at the support that we're anticipating in the Senate as well. We applaud Representative Corcoran and the Florida House for passing the John Mecklenburg Bill, which increases the penalty for aggravated fleeing and eluding that results in the death of any citizen or police officer to murder. By Judiciary Committee and Criminal Justice Subcommittee and Representative Corcoran and others, CS for CS for HB 667, a bill to be entitled an act relating to murder. Uh, as you may recall, during the State of the State, Governor Scott introduced Penny Mecklenburg, who was a spouse of a law enforcement officer who was killed in the line of duty in Hernando County. Uh, it was a result of an aggravated fleeing and looting that resulted in serious bodily injury or death. The bill before you simply adds the, uh, fleeing and eluding with serious bodily injury or death to the list of first and second degree murder statute. That's the bill, Mr. Speaker. Okay, we'll lock the machine and announce the vote. 116 yeas, zero nays, Mr. Speaker. So the bill passes. Congratulations. I sponsored the John C. Mecklenburg Act, and it was a great honor to be able to sponsor that bill. But the real credit and all of the... Uh, uh, support that was given to not only Penny Mecklenburg from the floor, uh, uh, FOP, but also her hard work and drive to honor her husband for the great service he gave to our state. And it was a pleasure to watch on the House floor. Very seldom do you see such an emotional outpouring of support, not only for law enforcement, but for also honoring uh, Penny Mecklenburg and all her hard work. And it would be a great legacy, hopefully, for her children to see. But uh, it was an honor to sponsor it, and, and hopefully in the future, in the next uh, cases that may come out, about, hopefully they don't, but if they do, um, the perpetrators will be uh, serving life sentences. Over the last 18 months, uh, we at the Florida AFL-CIO, unions and labor organizations from across the state have been working to create a true working families movement that unifies everyone in the state who works for a living. One of the leaders in this fight has been the Fraternal Order of Police. And they have been with us and a part of everything that we've done for the past 18 months. And that is why we are enthused to support a critical piece of legislation on behalf of our law enforcement officers across the state of Florida. You I've had the pleasure of working with Representative Corcoran in the House and Senator Fasano in the Senate. Both have been um, answering my phone calls, answering any questions that I have, supportive, 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 and amazing to work with. First of all, I, I just want to tell you that um, uh, Penny is a, is a courageous woman um, and uh, her, um, her advocacy, not only on behalf of her husband and, of course, the, uh, uh, the horrible death of her husband who was serving the people of, the, of Hernando County, but her advocacy on behalf of all law enforcement officers throughout the state in pushing a good piece of legislation, an important piece of legislation that will uh, make certain that when, a, uh, when someone like uh, uh, like the guy who, who, who went off on his own and uh, committed this horrible, horrible death of a great man um, will make certain that he's going to go to jail for a long, long time and that anyone else even considers doing that, uh, they better think twice, but we're going to put him in jail and, and throw away the keys. As firefighter paramedics, we understand the uh, difficulties that our law enforcement brothers and sisters face every day on the street. To address the injustice of the families of law enforcement members, we ask you to support Senate Bill 872. The Fraternal Order Police has made a pledge to honor the memory of all of those officers who 
gave the ultimate sacrifice. We pledge to never forget them. These are not just faceless names on a wall or a news article through a news cycle to be forgotten. These men and women represent our friends, our co-workers, our families, husbands, sons, mothers, daughters. They mean more to us than just a name on a wall. If you flee from the police and cause the death of any citizen, you will be charged with murder.